so a lot of times when I'm planning stuff for student life or when I know that we have a specific series coming up or something like that I tend to really try and examine what this particular topic looks like in my life if that makes sense so for example on this retreat we went on a couple weeks ago the the theme was who do we say that Jesus is and who does do people say that we are really in the two, one to two weeks leading up to that I really 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 tried to examine that in my life this week we're starting a series about worship Psalms 150 says, Praise the Lord, praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with trumpet sound. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with tambourine and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And so with that said, worship, worship is this opportunity that we all have, that everyone as creation, as sons and daughters of God, we all have this opportunity and this, really at, at some point we have this responsibility to praise God and to worship. And so, here's three reasons why worship is, here's three reasons why I have found in my life that worship is important. Are you ready? Number one, it puts us in direct communication with God. Number two, it brings us into a point, into a place and a mindset where it's just you and God. Um, where it's just us and God and the, and the world and temptation is, is cast aside and, and it's, it's not even on our radar of stuff to worry about. Number three, reason number three is that it, it's an opportunity for us to thank God. God has done so much for us. God is doing so much for us and God will do so much for us. And so worship is just one more opportunity to thank God for everything that that's going on in our lives and why why wouldn't we want to take that you know